endocrine system is primarily composed of glands that produce chemical messengers called hormones. They are made in one part of the body and then travel to other locations through the bloodstream. Glands of the endocrine system include the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the parathyroid glands, the thymus, and the adrenal glands. Other glands are also included within the endocrine system since they contain endocrine tissue that secretes hormones. These include the pancreas, ovaries, and testes. The endocrine and nervous systems work very closely together. The brain continuously sends instructions to the endocrine system and in return receives feedback from the endocrine glands. This process continues around the clock. Because of this intimate relationship, the nervous and endocrine systems are referred to as the neuroendocrine system. Let's take a look at the hypothalamus. It is known as the master switchboard because it's the part of the brain that controls the endocrine system. That pea-sized structure hanging by a thin stalk from the hypothalamus is the pituitary gland. It is called the master gland of the body because it regulates the activity of the endocrine glands. The hypothalamus sends either hormonal or electrical messages to the pituitary gland. In turn, the pituitary gland releases hormones which travel through the bloodstream to the endocrine glands. Here's how the endocrine system keeps itself in check. Eventually, the hypothalamus detects the rising level of the target organ's hormones and sends a message to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland then stops releasing certain hormones, causing the target organ to stop producing its hormones. The endocrine system constantly adjusts hormone levels so that the body can function normally. This process is called homeostasis. Mm -hmm.